Hi everyone, it's Morgan from For the Love of Paper and I'm here with another layout process video for you. Um, I just had up on there the sketch and mood board from the Delish Scraps uh, embellishments kits. Uh, this is for the month of July. So I am using products from that kit and also um, the, the sketch uh, to complete my layout. I'll pop a link to their um, store in the description below. Uh, so most of the, the pieces except for pretty much I think the paper and um, the tag that I use, everything else was from the kit. Oh that, that black card wasn't from it either. So other than that everything else was from the kit which was pretty cool and I did manage to use up a few um, scraps from my stash as well. Uh, so I just tried to, because on the layout it was kind of broken up into like six full pieces behind. So I guess they'd be like four by six pieces in the background. And then the, it would be two photos as the um, the photos on the image, uh, photos on the page, sorry. Um, I didn't really have two photos that I wanted to scrap, but I really wanted to get this particular photo scrapped in the color theme color scheme and theme of this kit fitted really nicely with the photo that I wanted to do which is one of me um my wedding day I'm getting through my photos like I'm going a few years back now to scrap some of these pictures I'm pretty proud of myself so that's why I wanted to do this one and there wasn't really two photos that went nicely together for this layout so for the other photo I just used the wooden um heart embellishment that was um, part of the kit as the second focal feature on the layer. Um, this was, oh, I don't even know where that paper's from. This one was from Stamping Up. This is from one of their new collections. The fox one, I can't remember the exact name of it. <laughs> it's the, the one with the fox stamps. This is the matching paper, that heart one. I'm um, not sure where that black and white, uh, black and gold card came from. I have no idea where that's from. And then just some random bits of colored card and I do um, go a little vellum crazy oh sorry I thought I'd muted that um, I do go a little vellum crazy on this layout I haven't had any vellum in the house for a while and I managed to buy a whole packet the other day so I cracked into that and was um, using it like crazy on this layout which was kind of cool and now this piece here, I wanted a pop of like, well, it's kind of coral color, that cardboard, but it was way too bright as it was. So this is when I started with the vellum idea that I would cut a piece of vellum down and put it in front of that coral cardstock just to mute it and tone it down. See how it tones it down a lot, but you can still get that color coming through. So that was my idea. That's what started my idea of using all the vellum. Um, yeah, so I do fiddle around with this a lot, trying to get it all where I want it and just so, as I do. Um, so I do make up sort of six little um, pieces, I suppose you should say, six little embellishment squares. Um, but they do get mixed around a fair bit on the page. I don't think anything that's where it is, is now, I don't think any of it stays where it is. Maybe the top middle one, I think that's about the only one that, that stays in that one spot. Oh, and I do have my little helper join me partway through the video. He decided that mummy was working, so he wanted to do some drawing or something next to me so excuse me if you see your little hands and whatnot off to the side of the screen that's just Sam doing his thing and what else did I do oh that one there I was trying to make it so it was a rectangle the same as the other five pieces but it just looked kind of well, there's this little hand waving to the camera. It was so cute. Um, but it just didn't look right. So that's the only one that isn't an actual 
rectangular rectangular shape. I just kind of leave it um, a bit off off skew. Guess gives a bit of um, character to the page, I guess. So after a bit more fiddling, I think I finally have it where I want it. Do I? Oh no, I move that piece. I move that up to the top, that vellum with the word high on it. I think that was from a Heidi Swap packet of something. I can't remember what. No, it's still fiddling around. Let's see, everything's got to be just, just right. <clears throat> um, I can't really remember what I was thinking at this point. I think I was just trying to, there we go. That's where that ends up, up there. You can't see it all that well, but um, it does bring a little bit more gold into the layout. And then those ones stay down the bottom. That um, piece of white cardstock at the bottom, actually it's got very, very faint pink dots on it, like super faint. And that's actually some packaging from something else. So once I had it where I wanted it, I just took a quick photo so that I could refer back to it because I take all the pieces off um, to get them stuck together. Um, but I wanted to remember where I had finally decided to set everything down. <laughs> Sam, he saw me jabbing my fingers on the table, so he decided to copy me. He's so cute. Um, <laughs> sorry. He's sleeping on the floor next to me at the moment. We've all been really sick this last week. He started on Friday night with the temperature and he's almost better. And then now, then I got it on Saturday and then Frank started getting it last night. I'm feeling heaps better today, but yesterday I was absolutely dreadful. So that's why my voice sounds a little funny. <coughs> I'm still just getting over it, but poor Sam, he's just crashed out in the middle of the carpet. Um... So I took this opportunity to do a voiceover while he was nice and quiet. Um, I haven't moved him. I probably should move him to his bed, but he looks pretty comfortable on the carpet. Um, yeah, anyway, <laughs> enough of my tangent. Back to the layout. I just got some, that's Lindy's Stamp Gang. I just did a few spritzes of that, and then I did some gold and some pink of the Color Shine stuff. And I really liked the way that um, it mixed with the water from the Lindy Stamp Gang um, in a couple of places. It kind of, I don't know, just like sort of spread out. It was really neat. I'm going to have to try and um, replicate that effect on something else to see if it was just one of once off thing or if, it, if I can do it again because it was a really neat effect that it had. Um, and I really, really liked this envelope, and I wanted to use it as a pocket, but I didn't really have anything to put in it. So instead of wasting it, because I think that paper's super cute, um, I just chopped it in half, and I use half on this layout, and I can use the other half um, on another layout. I think I might actually use it in a Project Life layout um, that I've got probably in the next next couple of weeks. Um, I should be able to use it on that because we went out for a bit of an adventure. So I think I've got some bird photos, funnily enough. So I might use it on there. Uh, this one I wanted to put some ink around the edge. And I kind of stuffed it up. I put too much ink at the top. And then there wasn't enough at the bottom. And I did actually end up getting quite frustrated with this. Um, in the end, yeah, I just rubbed ink all over it. It's not a lot. It's quite subtle, but it's enough to sort of bring a bit of pink up into that corner. Um, just so it's not so one-sided, I guess. Because there's the pink piece down the bottom. It needed a little bit of... Oh, sorry. What colour did I say it was? Like a coral colour. It needed something up the top as well. Um, this video is... Oh, sorry, this layout um, was quite long. I think this one took me about 55 minutes. All up, yeah, roughly that. So I've just sped it up um, times two, so double time. Um, and then I had to cut a little bit out of the middle. Um, 
but yeah, so this one did take me a while, mainly because it was the fluffing around, getting everything just right and cutting up all the pieces and stuff. But it, well, I suppose it's not too bad. Could you, oh, I don't know, is that long? It feels like it's a long time, nearly an hour to do a layout. Seems like a long time. But then other times I know that I've done a layout in like 15, 20 minutes and then that doesn't seem long enough. So it's hard to say. So you can see that that's the, the back of the packaging. I think it was from, I don't even know where it was from. It was from tags of some, some kind. Sam bringing his paper in to do some drawing. And I really wanted to use up this kit as much as I could. Um, last month, I got last month's kit. I don't think I did a video. Oh, I did, that's right. I did do a video for it, and then my hard drive got corrupted, and I lost it all. So I couldn't, um, couldn't put that up on YouTube. But I didn't use much of the kit like I probably only use maybe a quarter of it so this month I was really determined to um, to use it up and get a whole bunch of it used up on a layout I've still got a fair bit left I'll be able to um, make another layout or at least put it in my project life spreads um, with the, what I've got left but yeah I did make a conscious effort to to use it all Oh my goodness, he's bringing out the big guns, the big thing of pens. He's been obsessed with drawing lately. Absolutely loves it. He's got his crowns and pens out. It's so easy to go off on a tangent in these videos, I apologise. Um, I don't think, I don't know what else I'd do on this layout, to be honest. I think I add some washi tape to that card. No, oh, I don't. Oh, that's right. I'm <laughs> pulling all of my stuff away from him. See, so yeah, I was clearing him a space on the side of the table. I could have all my bits and pieces. And then he could have his little space. It's not, it's not a small desk, but he needs to be right next to me when he's working, of course. Oh, there we go, do add some washi. That washi tape did actually come in the kit too. And it's pretty cool. It's black and then um, it's got a kind of, what am I trying to say? Like a lace pattern over the top. Just kind of cool. I hadn't actually had a, um, a washi tape like that before. So it's kind of cool to get them. And it's probably not something I would have bought. Like if I was going to buy washi, that's not one that I would have bought. But I really, really like it. Um, so that is a benefit of getting kits. I do like that, that you get um, different things that you wouldn't always buy or wouldn't always choose. And um, then making them work for you and giving it a go and trying something different. It definitely um, broadens the scrapbooking, paper crafting horizons that I, um, that I have that I mean, it means my stash gets bigger because then I want all the things, all of the things. But um, it also means I'm trying new things and working out what things work and what things don't. So just trying to put it all back together. And I really like that little dove. There was two doves in it, obviously. the um, What is it? The two turtle doves go, to, go together. I can't remember what the meaning is behind them. Um, so there was two in the kit, but I do only use one on this layout. Maybe I'll do one of Frank on the opposite side and he can have the other turtle. That's a great idea. I just thought of that. I'm going to do a layout of one of Frank's photos on the other side. I think I'll have enough embellishments, hopefully, to, um, to do that on the other side. If not, I'll have to see if I can go online and order some more bits and pieces because they quite often, like the kits sell out every month, but they quite often have a few um, of the bits and pieces that you can buy separately. Am I ready to stick it down yet? Am I? Um, oh no, that's right. I added some more vellum to the heart. 
oh that's right I realized that it was too too much of the pattern was coming through the back of that heart and it just took it just looked funny because there was so many different patterns behind it um, when it overlapped all those little corners oh, he made a bracelet he was trying to show the camera his bracelet um, so I put some vellum on it to kind of mute the background out a little bit so that the wood veneer actually stood out. And look at that, the first thing actually stuck down on the paper. Woohoo! That does not stay there. That glue did not let stick that to that paper. That black card is kind of, um, I can't, it's kind of like, you know when you get chalkboard stickers? It kind of feels like that. So the glue doesn't stick to it very well. It's quite, I don't know, it's hard to describe. It's quite a rough texture, but smooth at the same time. I don't know, it's quite a hard texture to describe. Only thing I can relate it to is some yeah, chalkboard stickers that I bought before, and they don't like glue at all. So I do end up moving that. I don't think I do it on the video. Now, this video actually comes to a very abrupt end because I ran out of space on my um, hard drive as I was recording. My computer is playing up again, so it keeps filling up all the space with these just random files. Like, it doesn't seem to delete things properly. So even though when I empty the trash, it still seems to have them in hidden files. So Frank has to go through and... I don't know what he does, but he does something and restores it back to normal for me. So yeah, this video does come to a very abrupt end. And I don't think you see the last couple of things that I do, but um, as always, I'll put some still photos at the end. And I might even do a blog post for this one. I have not done a blog post in a very, very long time. And I think I might do one for this particular layout. I might get back into the blog. I'm thinking if I do, I will link, leave a link in the description below. If there's no link there, I did not do a blog post. <laughs> so we'll see how, we'll see how that goes. Um, more vellum. See, look at this. This is vellum central on this card, on this layout, sorry. Oh, my brain is just not working at the moment. <clears throat> mm -hmm. I don't think I use that coral card either. No, I think I use the grey to match that heart paper at the top. The photo was just too, it kind of just blended into the background. It didn't really have anything to make it stand out and sort of just pop off the page. It just, see what I mean? It just kind of went, was too flat. So I just put it on a piece of grey cardstock with a bit of vellum in between. And it really did the job. I didn't, I didn't know that it would. But that's why I put such a little bit of tape on there. You could see like the tiny little bit that I put on there. That was because I didn't know if I was going to have to rip it off again if it didn't work. But it does, and I'm happy. I think that's it. In hindsight, I probably should have put that up on some um, foam dots or something, but I didn't think about it at the time. and I'm not going back to change that. What was I doing there? I was getting all my rubbish. Oh, I should have deleted this bit out of the video. Sorry, guys. It's me cleaning up my desk. And that is pretty much it. I don't glue that down. I do. Oh, that's right. I really liked the shape of this heart. So I decided to trace around the outside so that I could use it as a template. <laughs> Oh, I'm such a talk. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I forgot that I did that. And I only made this this layout yesterday. And already had forgotten. Um, I just wanted to get a few, see if I could get a few more things on the layout. But 
I'm not sure I did put something else on here. What else did I put on here? Oh, some of these. These came in the kit as well. They're like little handmade embellishment clusters, which I really like. I, actually, I think there was only two in the layer in the kit, sorry, and I think I used them both. And I kind of wish that um, I hadn't used them both because now I want to do the um, the layout of Frank. I wish I had another one to put on there. I think I'm definitely going to have to see if they've got some more goodies still on their page. See, that looks kind of good there. I think I put it down the bottom. I have a feeling. Yeah, there, that's where it goes. See, I should have just left that. Never mind. It looks good like that too, to be honest. Um, and I think this is pretty much the end of the layout, guys. So I will thank you all for watching and see you in the next video. Bye!